Everything's in, in, in fast motion. Everything is at a very heavy speed, so you have to regulate that and you have to calm yourself because if you don't, you're just gonna, you're gonna clock out fast. The stress level gets so elevated. If you don't monitor that, then you're, you're not gonna succeed, you're not gonna win. Even though it seems like you're slowing everything down, you're still going at a really heavy pace. And uh, that's one of the key factors at really being able to get through one of these types of training sessions, you know, for three days going heavy. So that's probably the biggest thing I learned out of this, amongst many other things. But it's top-notch training. You know, it's definitely pushing the pushing us in every way. And uh, you know, from an accuracy perspective, uh, shooting at speed, shooting on the move. So it's it's really good training. Decision making as well. You know, try not to shoot innocent bystanders when you're trying to get the bad guy. So uh, it's it's really good. Some people get stuck working on static range, doing static drills, and it's it's just not the same. It's applying basic handgun skills, but actually applying them in realistic scenarios. So it's one thing to talk about muzzle awareness. It's another thing to actually have to shoot a moving target behind a bunch of things you're not supposed to hit. It's one thing to talk about being able to do it, you know, intensely, and it's another thing to come out here, jack your heart rate up, and then still try to make hits on target. So um, it validates what you should be training, but it's kind of pushing you to a more realistic, plausible level.